Being able to create arrays and lists is useless unless you know how to fetch values from them. In this video, we are going to learn the several ways to access the elements in both arrays and the lists, and they are very similar. So what it is applicable for a list is 99% applicable to the arrays using the properties and methods. So accessing elements here, one using properties and methods. Imagine you are creating a game of cards and you want to store player's name in the list. The list will need to change as players join or leave the game. So you need to declare a mutable list that we have learned in the, before, okay? Like the mutable list here, okay? So I will consider this mutable list as the list that we are going to access its elements and to work on it. Before we start the game, of making it uh, uh, making the game for the players, which we need to check if uh, if there are enough players, and for so we know we need to use the is and, and it's the same as we are going to check for the mutable list if con it it contains con uh, elements or not. So I will start checking. Uh, and using the properties and the methods for the uh, list. So mutable list one, and we see dot, we have many properties and methods. We have add, replace, add all, remove, set, size, and so on. We are going to use now, learn about is empty. This is empty method or function is it for checking if it is uh, if the list is empty or not it returns the returning type of it is a boolean so boolean it will return a true or false so true if it is empty and false is for it is uh, containing elements print if mutable list one is empty let's go up and run to see the result if mutable list is empty or not. And here we go, we have false because it contains two elements, one and two as strings, okay? This is the first method we are going to talk about it. The second method that we are going to talk about it is the size and that it is a, a, sorry, it is not a method, it is a property. The list is not empty but you need at least like um, two players to play the game. So you are going to use the size. And again, if you need to make and get the size for like checking for certain uh, reasons like a game, we use dot size. So let's go up and see how it works. Let me print ln, print a new line, and the print line. Run again. And here we go. It's checking for it is uh, not mutable, uh, not empty, the mutable list one. And we have two elements. You see, guys, mutable list dot size contains two elements, and it is correct because this is the first element and this is the second element, okay? Now, we will continue with properties and method and we are going to learn about the first method. So, imagine that the list provide, uh, a, a, that you are creating, we need to get the first element inside it. So, print, ln mutable list dot first so we have a method called first and i need to get the last element 
So mutable list dot last element. Let's run and see. You you see, guys, that the first one and uh, is for empty. The size is the second line, and the first element inside the list is one, and the last element in uh, the list is two. And this is correct because this is our the list that we are going, and that we are performing our actions on in on it. Okay. So this is for the methods and properties. Now, let's use the indexing to indexing. The most convenient way to access elements in an array or list is by using the indexing syntax. That we are going to talk about it in the next video and see how to iterate through the element.